Hello everyone, I'm Yanni from Yufiu Gaming and today we are gonna play some Calico. So this is a brand new day in the life community sim in which you have to rebuild the town's cap cafe. And as you can probably guess, there's gonna be a lot of animals in this game, not just cats, but also a bunch of other animals. Uh, and I did play the demo a while ago, also on the channel. And uh, it seemed like a really cute and interesting game and it has a very unique look to it. So I'm quite excited to check out the full game, which was just released yesterday. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be playing on a keyboard and mouse, but they do remain, uh, recommend playing it with a controller. But it went okay with the demo, so I hope it's gonna work out fine playing the full game with keyboard and mouse as well. So there we go, yep, Yanni. I can't believe I'm starting my new life tomorrow. Ugh, I have to pick something to wear. Ew, okay, so there's a very in-depth character creation here uh, where we can mess around with changing all these things. I'm not gonna spend much time on this. Um, I don't usually actually even when I'm just playing and not recording, uh, but of course you can mess around with uh, really personalizing your character. Uh, so we can kind of uh, be completely purple or well pink or pur purple or green or blue or just pretty much any color it seems uh, there we go and then of course you can start changing all these things uh, plus 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 ah ha, ha. yep okay so you can make your character a bit heavier or make them more skinny. There we go. And you can do the same for the bottom if you want some wider thighs um, and things like that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, and then for the face, you can mess around with, uh, for instance, adding some blush to your character like this. Uh, actually, this one kind of reminds me a little bit of, of a kitty, so that might be kind of a little bit cute, right? So let's see. Uh, let's just pick one like this, but then you just kind of move around with WASD if you're playing on keyboard, keyboard and mouse, and uh, then you can change it like this, and then just space, and then I'm not sure how to go back from here. Hmm. Okay. Well, Q and E works, but then you kind of s switch these top ones. Um, and then we have the hair, of course. Let's see. Got a bunch of options in here. Hmm. I really like the variety that they have. That is really cool. And I can imagine people spending a lot of time on making just the perfect character for them, right? Uh, let's see. What are we going to go with? Um... I kind of like this one. Let's just go with that. And then, of course, we can change the color. Um, so let's go down here. A very bright, isn't it? Oh, there, I think. Yep. And then we can change our clothes. Okay, so we don't really have anything on the head right now. Um, I don't know if it's because they're planning to add something, but I think you can get other clothes when you are... Um, in the game then over time you'll probably find something or buy something right there we go okay so we can change this so right now our clothing is a very basic uh, let's see bottom and then we choose the color I'm just trying to get used to the controls here <laughs> mm, what do we want uh, like yeah let's go with that and then we have the shoes oh oh I can choose whether or not I want to have shoes on aha nice uh, what color shoes are we gonna go with I think for now let's just go with hmm oh, we can go for some yeah let's go with those haha yep okay so uh, that's just gonna be it for now, and then let's say finished character can be changed. Oh, that's actually really nice. So if you just want to try out the game and you're not really sure if it's something for you, then you can just quickly jump into it, start playing, and if you fall in love with it, then you can keep playing and just 
you know fix your character later that is a pretty handy because in most games you can't really change your character once you get started right but it seems like in this one you can probably just kind of change it out um, whenever you want to maybe or maybe there's some kind of a barber shop or something like they usually call them in the games uh, where maybe you have to play, pay a little fee or something to change it, but we'll see. Oh yeah, so this is our little cafe. But I do really like the, this like watercolor look that the game has. Oh my gosh! Oh, there's a little kitty. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, ah, hello. Welcome to Hard Village. I'm Kiva, the mayor of this little village. We are so excited to have you here. We were all so sad to have your aunt retire and the cafe shut down. I love how that kitty is walking around looking at us. <laughs> Honestly, the village just isn't the same without her. Though she did send me a postcard last week and it looks like she's really enjoying traveling. Apparently there are cats on other islands. Isn't that amazing? Oh, whoops. Of course you'd know all about that, having come from another island. Anywho, all that matters is you're here now. First things first, why don't you look inside your new cafe? It's a little boring and empty right now, but that's up to you to fix. Why don't you go inside and check the place out? Come back and talk to me when you're done. Oh jeez, wait, even more first, I need to give you your welcome gift. Here's a couple things that will help you settle in. Um, okay. Okay, so tab is inventory, but okay, I have a toy. I guess that was one of the things I got, but I don't really have anything else. Uh, but yeah, we can use this to play with the uh, with the animals. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Then we have like one for townsfolk, two, three, yes. Ooh, look at that. So we have like a lovely journal here. Kiva, she, her. Favorite food. Kiva is the cheery but forgetful mayor of Hart Village. She lives in an old cozy home on the cliffs and works in the community center. Oh, I like this. And then apparently you can learn what their favorite food is. That is cool. Uh, but it seems like there is a good deal of people here to meet. Oh, and we can even see where we need to find someone. That is pretty cool. Uh, so you can see there's different areas that we have to discover. Then there's animals. We can have five in our party, apparently. Uh, ten at the cafe, and then we can have a whole bunch uh, free roaming as well. And apparently we can add accessories to them. Very cool. And then we have our quests here. Nice, what else do we have? We have a map, ooh, and it's star-shaped and everything. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of stuff here to check out. And it looks like a lot of quests, if all those qu question marks are for quests, that would make sense. Hmm, very nice. Okay, and then we have five for character. Ooh, okay, so you can just change this whenever you want. So it's kind of like in um, in Garden Wars, where you can also change the skin of your character and even what type of creature you want to play on that current day. So it seems like you can just change this whenever you want. That is kind of a nice feature. So you can just mix it up depending on your mood, right? Okay, before I talk to her again, let's have a little look inside the cafe. It's definitely looking a little different than when you play the demo, because in the demo it was like crawling with cats and stuff. But of course you didn't have access to all the areas and they probably just wanted you to find out how it all works with interacting with animals and stuff in the demo. Uh, but yeah, we have a little bedroom up here. Oh, and look at that ceiling. That's pretty cool. I would love to have windows like that. Oh, and look at those windows. They look like cat ears. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice. I have to get a little used to this when you when you look around the way the you suddenly look outside like this. Uh, here we go. And then we have a little kitchen in the back here. There's a book, which it doesn't seem like I can interact with just yet, but we probably can when we get a bit into this. There we go. So that was that. And then I wanted to go and greet uh, this little one. Uh, pick up Calico. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I do like that little feature. That is very, very cute. 
that you can pick them up like this and you can hold to wiggle animal um, yeah you hold E and then you can do this poor, ki poor kitty they don't really like if you do this in real life but there we go we have a little kitty here very cute and if we put you down again okay left click and then let's pull this out oh here we go come on kitty okay maybe do it like this Oh, you're playing behind it seems to not work quite as well as it did in the demo it would kind of come over here and play with you when you brought it out there we go now it's just kind of playing randomly where it is <laughs> that looks a little funny um okay but it is early days guys it, it was just released yesterday so that's probably gonna be um some bugs and things that don't quite work the way it should here we go that's a little bit works a little bit better uh, but yeah, I love all these little features. Oh, and there's something about if you pick, pick it up. Ah, yeah, store animal. <laughs> then you can walk around with, uh, with an animal like this, which would of course be handy if you find one out in the wild that you want to bring home. Then you can actually carry it like this and have your hands free for something else. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just cute and funny. Uh, okay, so right click and then left click, there we go. Let's let you go again. Very nice. Hey, friendo, did you check out the place? I love the layout and that starship skylight is so pretty. There's a lot of work to do though. It's completely empty of both people, animals and food. I actually brought you some furniture to help out, but I embarrassingly didn't know which kind you would like best, so I ended up bringing a whole bunch. What would you say your style is? Aha, so we can choose cute, red or spooky, and I don't know how any of these look, so we're just gonna try and pick one. Um, but I joined the Discord right before starting to play today, and um, I noticed one of the last questions that someone asked was, if this is something because you don't really get a preview of what these look like uh, so they were asking if this locks you out somehow so you're stuck with cute for the rest of this game right uh, but whatever you don't choose now you can get from shops and stuff later so it's not like you won't be able to get spooky and red if you if you pick cute right um i think i'm gonna go with cute i kind of tend to do that no you know what let's go with spooky Oh, perfect. I have these items of that type. You should place them in the cafe when you get time. And then there's one thing I want to check. Oh, nice. There's sound settings because there's no sound settings in the main menu. Ooh, and I like this, that it's not just one thing that you can change, but that you actually have a good deal of control because I want to turn this off. I'm not really a fan of that Mickey Mouse kind of thing that... <laughs> she had going on so i think i'm just gonna turn that off completely and for now i'm gonna leave the other stuff i kind of like being able to hear the ambient oh i'm ch changing things that i don't want to uh, but just leaving the music off a little bit too uh, lovely i do like that there was all those options because very often there isn't right um so let's see put furniture in the cafe so we can press f uh, I do remember this, so we can use this to move some stuff around, uh, but for right now we want to go in here, and apparently they will be sorted in their own categories, that's pretty handy. Uh, let's take the table here, just try and place something down, we can move it later. Oh, I have to get used to that um, thing here <laughs> with your view. Uh, but I think we're going to put you, I was trying to center it, but it's a little bit according to the window but it's a little hard when you have that thing there we go oh no it's not space okay how do i place you okay let's try again aha it's left click aha, aha, aha. it does say left uh, pick up for left click but it's also pick up pick up for place you can just move this under then left click and then you can pick it up and move it again uh, there we go lovely and then let's give ourselves some chills so just for starters, I'm probably going to change this at some point, uh, but it's just so we can see what some of this looks like, right? There we go. And then people have a nice view here. They can sit and enjoy when we get some food and stuff going. Very lovely. And then let's check out 
this a little couch here um i think for right now let's just put you over here somewhere or close to the oh that's as close as we can go oh no i did it again it's because space is like except for pretty much everything else so it comes naturally to me to do just press that but it's left click nice there we go but i do like the look of the game it's a kind of a unique very unique look this kind of watercolor thing right hmm okay what's next animals your aunt always had a bunch of cute cuddly animals in the cafe honestly it is the best part of the whole thing why don't you look around and adopt an animal for the cafe they are all over the island and as long as they don't belong to anyone else they are available for the cafe and your new fuzzy family you okay we're gonna do that let's see if we can find ourselves an animal and this is so funny <laughs> i love that so when you're just walking normally it's like this or it, it looks like you're running a little bit but if you try sprinting then she runs like this <laughs> It's really really cute <laughs> i don't know i just like that uh, okay so there is a raven or something over here uh, not exactly the animal i expected to find but let's see if we can interact with you hello little one oh i can let's pick you up oh look at that <laughs> very cool <laughs> Yeah, you're probably not too happy about that. Okay, so I can pick you up and bring you back. Um, then there's animal command control, right? So I can make you follow me. Or I can make you just go straight to the cafe. Or I can set you free. So if I just say follow me. Let's check that it works, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Now you are following me. So if I... Let's pick you up again and say control and say I would like you to just go to the cafe. Then you should head to the cafe. Let's see. Might take a moment before it takes effect. Ah, now you, yeah, I think it might be coming now, but I think that's the one you would want to use if you're out exploring. Um, Okay, how does that work if I store you? <laughs> Look at the feet under the ears. <laughs> oh, that is just hilarious. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna bring you back, but at least you can bring them back like this, or you can just send them back to the cafe, because if you're out exploring and you're further away, you might not want to run back every time, right? So right away, just bring an animal home. Uh, but right now we need to talk to the mayor and kind of continue with the quest, right? So we're just gonna <laughs> bring this birdie home. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Okay, so how do I get you back down again? Right click and then... I don't know if you'll stay if I just put you down here or maybe I have to do this. So let's just say go to the cafe then you should stick around here. So we got ourselves a new animal. Completely not what I expected but that is cool. Yeah, hello to you too. Hey, Kaliko. Like the, it's the signature cat for the cafe, obviously. What was the last thing? I can't seem to recall. Oh, food. Duh. Okay, so the other thing you need to learn is making food for the cafe. Can't have a cafe without cafe food and drinks. Your aunt left you a couple of recipes, but it's not many. I'm sure if you talk to the other villagers, they may be able to share some family recipes with you in exchange for your help. But for now, why don't you head into the kitchen and try out one of those recipes? Sounds good! Oh, something else to note. This island is very much based in old magic. The way we do things is a bit different here. I think you'll really enjoy the cooking though. It's pretty fun to throw an egg the size of your whole body. Sorry, what? Oh, you'll see. Go try it out. Okay, I think we're gonna just test that out. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's see. Ah, now we can make food. Uh, cupcake, not made. Cupcake, cake, if I could speak, not made yet. Coffee and macarons. Oh, let's try and make one of these. 
right okay so right click for display case currently for s oh then we can see what we have for sale nice space start recipe put the ingredients in the bowl <laughs> Okay, I see what she means, but yeah, there is definitely magic in this game. We saw a little bit of it in the demo um, Okay, but what did I need flour uh, sugar and an egg? Okay, let's go and grab an egg here And then we are gonna go and put you uh, Aha left click Well, it's with shells and oh with the the eggshell and everything. That's not usually so good then we need flour, so we're going to pick you up. <laughs> and we're going to put you in there. And then we're going to take the sugar. And we're going to put you in here too. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. Take a look at that. Okay, recipes. And it's kind of bouncing up and down, but I don't think I could really read what it says anyway. It looks like it's not English, I think. Um, hmm. So put the finished food. Oh, put the finished food in the tray. So how do I pick up the finished food? Um, okay, maybe I just have to go straight over there and then do it so I don't have to carry it over there. I don't know. But, let's see. Uh, no, it seems like I have to... Okay. But how do I pick it up? Do I have to make my way into the bowl somehow? Uh, okay, well, let's... Find... Oh, no, I didn't actually mean to do that. Oh, I can jump that high. Haha. <laughs> okay, then we pick you up. And... Oh, yeah, we're figuring things out here. Look at that. Look at this lovely kitty cupcake. <laughs> oh, that's meal for a month here. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay, look at that. Now it's on the tray. I like that. Um, so if we go over here and do this, and then we can see what's currently for sale. Oh, nice. Okay, so how does a coffee coffee work? I wonder because we can't really carry the liquid coffee right so let's see coffee beans where would they be oh that's here I am not a oh and it removed the cream cheese or whatever it was I threw in there and then we need milk and uh, here we go what do you whoops and okay uh, oh dear okay well this was definitely this was not part of the demo so this isn't something new uh, to me there we go so now we have that as well and then if we check this and you can see what is currently for sale okay if I right click display case uh, oh okay so uh -huh. Ah, aha, so I can choose to move things around like that. So if I right click, then I can move it. And, oh, now I suddenly have two. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, okay, let's get out of that. But somehow there was suddenly two. I think there was some kind of little glitch with it. Uh, so we have this. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now there's two coffees out here. I magically made a second coffee. Mm-hmm. And they are still over here uh, for some reason, but now they're in the display case. Okay, well, we managed to make some food at least. So let's see. Ah, I'm so proud of you. You are unnatural. I guess all that's left is meeting some of your neighbors. You should go around and meet them. Ew. Unfortunately, we have had some problems traveling to and from the other areas of the island, which sucks. I haven't been able to get to the hot springs for months. Maybe one of the villagers has an idea of how to fix some of the blockades. Anyway, I hope you get the cafe. Oh, I got an achievement. Open for business. 
Uh, I hope you get the cafe back up and running. If you ever want to chat with me about it, I live down this road right here, past the town center. See you, friendo. <laughs> okay, well, we kind of got started a little bit, guys. We're gonna have to go and explore and meet some other people, find some more animals. Um, before we end this for today, I kind of want to check. Yeah, see, now we have one raven at the cafe, and uh, then we're gonna have to figure out how to... Okay, if you left click, we can go over there. Oh, and we can give it a name. Oh, we can get... Okay, I wonder if you can change it again. Um, For now, I'm just going to call you Shadow or something. Uh, just to il illustrate it, but that's kind of cool. Um, Okay, so it doesn't... S oh, yes, you can change it again. Aha, you can... Yep, you can. Uh -huh. uh, oh, no. And then I wanted to get back in there how do i get back oh there we go now we're there santos cafe oh you can add it to the you can change it in here so you don't have to do it like ma manually then you can just change it in here if you want to change them to something else and you can add an accessory if you have one oh, that is so cool very nice okay well we are definitely gonna go and explore and see if we can meet some new people next time but uh, let me know what you think about it so far guys and uh, if it's something you would try and play yourself uh, so thank you for watching and as always uh, do take care and happy gaming